camo. So after our incredible morning, Bianca is doing a refresher course for scuba because she almost killed herself last time. Let's hope it goes well so that she can dive with me on the trip. So me and B are diving together and we're dive buddies and that's really exciting. Liam ran us through a bit of a briefing and then we headed out. Should we go diving? We're going scuba diving! Dolphins, good sign? Again. didn't go great it didn't really happen it didn't really happen we try to go down slowly but I'm probably not experienced enough to manage someone else while I'm still trying to dive myself we ended up bobbing up to the surface again just as B was equalizing so that really sucks I kind of blame myself a little bit but um, afterwards I managed to have a full dive so we are deciding what our plan is for the next couple of days because we were not loving our latest accommodation in Ponta Gala Gala was amazing, but we, we moved to a different place yesterday and it's not great. Currently, we don't know where we're going to be tonight, but um, that's part of the adventure, I guess. We still have no accommodation for tonight, but uh, we're having an R&R &R and we'll figure out the rest afterwards. So we're still trying to make a new plan on accommodation and where we're going to be, but we got some good food and we got a couple of tipotintos in the belly, so that helps. So it is 4.30 and we still have no plans. Jabari is chilling. We're getting some tipo. Someone we've met before was happy for us to camp in his driveway. As long as we brought some rum with. I guess tipo makes the world go around. was definitely the most random place we've ever spent the night <laughs> so far I guess but yeah someone was hospitable to us and let us camp in their garden so why not um, we're gonna go do some scuba diving now this morning and then probably head out of Ponto <laughs> let's go diving Since shooting this, I've seriously upgraded the underwater gear, but in the meantime, hopefully you get an idea of how incredible it is underwater.
the easiest way to describe it is imagine going on your first safari all over again but with a whole new cast of characters. The first dive of the day was so incredible, and to top it off, we saw dolphins again on the way in. So Liam and I hatched a plan to get the anchor to try one more time. Dive number two for the day. After an incredible first dive, hopefully the second one is anywhere near as good. We'll be super chuffed. I knew this might be the last time B tries, and I didn't want to pressure her, so instead I practically ignored her. Just another Sunday. got down to the bottom and the conditions were incredible. Doodles is a famous reef and for good reason. I glanced up a couple of times to check on B but mostly try to concentrate on my own dive. And what a dive it was. So much fish life, rays, honeycomb mora eels, potato bass, and millions of other fish I haven't learned to identify yet. The reef seemed to have really enjoyed lockdown. A little unsteady, but she made it down, saw the mores and a whole lot of fish, and we finally got a shot of us diving together. What an incredible woman. After what she went through, anyone would forgive her for never trying again. She's an absolute inspiration. So we officially have a Bianca scuba diver. <laughs> How f cool is that? <laughs> Favorite person I've ever met. I love her the best. Cheers! To Bianca getting underwater and Liam yeah. helping her get there. <laughs> Amazing, finally. Having a dodge jam to celebrate. Yeah. After an insane morning, we started heading north, but first had to go look for something we'd lost. Oh no, <laughs> we lost our license plate. The next day, and I found my license plate in the mud. After reviewing the drone footage to see exactly where it came off. So after an incredible day at Ponte de Or, we have headed up north just a little bit to Ponte Malangan. It's, um, it's a really quaint little fishing village and um, it's really beautiful and we've had great memories here with our dive club Scuba University. So we've come to camp out here for a couple of nights. We'll see, we'll see how long we stay. Nothing really is decided. But I'm going to set up the eye camper and I'm getting a little bit better at it. And I think my record is about four minutes. So I want to see if I can beat my record of four minutes. Let's see. You're on a minute. No, no. Meanwhile, the Boone family were making a look at me. Well, there is five of them. After another amazing day in Mozambique, we settled in around the fire. So something new we got for this trip is a inflatable kayak. Um, it's, not, it's not the most expensive kayak on the market, but I thought uh, for our first time out, I tried and it looks, it looks pretty functional. I'm gonna go test it now for the first time in Ponte Malangan in the sea and we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. We tested it in my mom's swimming pool, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we are on a boat. B. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Having fun. Was a giant fail. We almost drowned. Jokes, no jokes. <laughs> but we definitely lost our snorkel. And HMS Banana is full of water. So after our near drowning incident with the kayak, um, I laugh about it. I shouldn't laugh about it. Uh, it's, it is scary. You should always respect the sea because things can go wrong really quickly. But um, we're having a nice relaxed afternoon. I'll make a chicken stew tonight. I'm doing a little bit of uh, editing, which is very overdue, extremely overdue. Um, and the Bone family, they're, they're catching up on some schoolwork because they're, they're obviously still doing schoolwork while they're traveling Africa for a year. Um, so it's pretty cool. This is our campsite, I love it. <laughs> Why aren't you in school? I know everything. <laughs> what do you want to know? <laughs> Here's the Bone Family vehicle. How's that for a setup, eh? So cool. Her and Jabari have been having a lot of fun together in the sand. Really loving Ponte Malangon. It's, um, it's very quiet, which is weird. We're, we're used to seeing this place completely packed. Um, and it's completely dead at the moment, which is a bit odd, but uh, still beautiful. And we're enjoying a relaxed couple of days. So we are going to try and make a permanent solution to the license plate issue that we had the other day. So we're going to drill it into there so that it doesn't come out just the very next time we go through mud. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Bush mechanics, bush mechanics for the win. <laughs> Jabari has a proper mounted license plate. Less chance of getting arrested by dodgy Mozambican policemen. <laughs> We've been pretty useless at staying fit on the road and our wonderful friends from the Netherlands are better than us <laughs> and also being in Mozambique we want to try and get a bit fitter and healthier and eat a bit better and drink a bit less and all of those good things and it starts today with us trying to run on the beach which is going to be painful and short and pretty sweaty I'm guessing but uh, Got to start sometime, I guess. Okay, I'm done. I can't do this. Oh. 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 I can do this every day. By the end of four months, I'll be running down this beach with my shirt off and a six pack. <laughs> Might be a six pack of Tipitinto, but. There you go, the Netherlanders. And there comes Bianca. Yeah, not easy, but I guess it's not meant to be. Oh, you still earn my lunch. 
in Ponte Malangai. It's a municipal campsite, a municipal run campsite. There's a dive club though and there's a restaurant. There's actually two restaurants, I think, two bars. I um, mean, the campsites are beautiful, nice and shaded. There's a huge amount of mosquitoes though. Um, and the ablutions are basic, but clean. Uh, and they're pretty run down, but um, they do keep them clean. They clean once a day. So it's not shocking. But um, yeah, it could use a little bit more TLC, but it's a, it's a nice affordable option. It's um, about 125 Rand per person per night um, and half price for kids between 16 and 11, free for kids below six. We're having a great time though. We've been having so much fun with these awesome people and they decided to join us for a couple of nights in the Maputo Special Reserve. So we had to introduce them properly. We are Overlanders from the Netherlands. We are the Boone family journey. We travel Africa with our Land Rover, which is our home. Nature is our back garden. So our stay at Ponte Malangana is done. We had a great stay. It's uh, pretty simple in the campsite here. There's not a huge amount of activities. There's the dive camp, which we didn't partake in this time because we're trying to make all of our money last for four months on the trip. And we had such incredible diving at Ponte de Orbe. But it's really beautiful and it's definitely worth checking out. Campsite is rustic. Lots of mosquitoes. That's probably the, the lasting memory of the campsite, unfortunately. There's a huge amount of mozzies. Pollutions aren't bad, but it's right on the beach, which makes it really incredible. We got awesome news yesterday that uh, Peace Parks are going to host us for a week in the Maputo Special Reserve and they've invited the Boone family to join us which is super cool so that's really exciting we're going to head up there now it's a area that I haven't explored before um, and it's going to be really cool to experience some bush in Mozambique because um, Mozambique for us certainly has always been about the beach and the scuba diving so a little bit of bush and a little bit of conservation terrestrial conservation will be really interesting but yeah so we're heading off today we're going to go stock up in Ponte de Or then we're driving up north into the Maputo Special Reserve which is really exciting it's going to be the first of probably about four or five national parks that we go to during the trip um, so it's going to be really interesting to see the conservation efforts that are underway within Mozambique um, it's a country that you know, conservation took a sideline during the war years and it's taken a while to recover, but there's now incredible work going on and um, there's some amazing rehabilitation projects. Animals are getting restocked in large numbers and um, they're having some incredible successes. So it's really important that we support them and we visit them when we come to Mozambique. Mozambique's not just about the beach anymore. We've got to go see the bush as well, and give them some support. Such a short time. Thanks for watching guys and if you're enjoying the content and you haven't already please hit subscribe and we'll see you next week for another episode.